Oh boy, man. Yes, look at that. This is great, man. This is what we've been waiting for all winter long. Finally, it's supposed to be like a snowmageddon today, man. I don't know about that. That might be a little extreme, but we are supposed to get a lot of snow today. We got to get the plow out today and get that going because if we don't get it out today, we may not get it out all winter because it's going to be snowed in. First things first though, we got to get the vehicles moved. We got to take Seth to town and then we'll be back to get the plow ready. Tuxer, are you ready to go? <laughs> Take over, right? Okay. Wow, man, that is a lot of snow on the hood. What do you think, man? Is it eight, eight inches, maybe? Yeah. So I think technically you're supposed to take that snow all the way off. We're just going to put it in four-wheel drive right now. Sometimes we're inside out. Twist, turn it upside down. You're the place where I call home. gonna learn like which way the world's gonna turn you're the one that i lean on gonna laugh gonna cry gonna fall gonna fly what'd you guys find over here at the mall man oh wow that's cool huh? actually a decent one like huh. really helpful to have like in the bathroom or something yeah we got a dog bowl yeah insulated dog bowl or something Come Dude, that's a cool pan yeah, your name. really cool pan Cuisinart, computer monitor, tempting, packaged woods meat. What? There's meat in there. It's gross. Shoes. Hmm. Taking the pan. Pretty awesome. Keeping it? Yeah, dude. That's a, that's a way cool pan. We don't have a pan like that. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Kept the mirror too. You kept the mirror? Yeah, that's actually cool. That's what we're going to be doing today. Except our tractor's not quite so big. This truck right here in front of us is a plow and a sand truck. You notice how brown the road is in front of us? That's because he's laying out a lot of sand so that people don't slide through the stop sign and out into the highway. That would be pretty lame to slide out wow. into the highway. Look at the back of the truck. Oh wow, he's got a lot of sand in there, huh? Yeah, he does. That's what I'm talking about. I was just relating to Marty how funny it was that somebody who I think was in Europe said that when they get like two or three inches of snow like everything comes to a halt and that we get like two or three feet of snow and everybody just keeps going and you guys it's so true we're down here in town and there are tons of people i don't think it stopped all of our north idaho friends from enjoying this day sarah yeah finally i'm so excited <laughs> my favorite coffee place <laughs> in all of idaho that i know of you got a treat there oh. <laughs> Thank you. Tuxa, you got a treat? Look at all these people shopping at Walmart today. They are not afraid of the snow. We're actually losing somebody today. We're here meeting a friend to pick up Seth. Seth's going to game night tonight. Where'd you park? Uh, you know, I don't know. We're checking out right now. Oh, okay. You want to just... We'll be coming out the grocery side. All right. See you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna let go meet them at the entrance of Walmart. Okay, have fun gaming. Okay, bye buddy. Love you. See ya. Bye. You guys too. See ya. Have a good on grid night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bye. Bye. Love you, bud. Cruising be be inside. Jules has got her snow pants on, man. She's all snowed out. Yeah. Ready for the snow. We have received comments and emails asking about how you can send us things this is how you do it right here our p.o box is 2582 and yeah we'd love to get stuff from you <laughs> it is down in the description of this video you can find it down there sir you got a key there was a key in our p.o box so that way Whew. you got 141 so if the package is too big to fit into the p.o box there they put a key and then you get to come down here and they put it in one of these boxes Ooh, there's more than one thing in there. I don't know, maybe somebody else ordered it and sent it to us. All right, let's see what this one is. Thermal leak detector. Ooh, that is cool. That's way cool. Oh, I think I know what this is. <laughs> Julie and Tux, enjoy your gift. Hope this will keep you both warm. That is very cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs>
Adam Knowles from the Green Forest Church of Christ. Thanks for the many hours of homestead <laughs> entertainment. I love your positive spirit, work, work ethic, and the way you shine the light for Jesus. May God bless you. If I can ever be of assistance to y'all, don't hesitate to ask. That's so cool. And so a nice. Home Depot gift card. That is awesome. Thank you guys so much. That will be very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Louise in California, and she is such a sweet lady. She writes really great letters. She's included a ton of recipes, which is very cool, and a gift card from Target. Thank you so much. You are super, super sweet and very thoughtful. Don't look at my crazy, dirty kitchen, okay? We've been really busy. <laughs> we do need to clean it, but I want to show you this. I need to be a little bit more, more diligent getting the eggs, but look, we've got two eggs. That's so exciting. This okay. one actually cracked open because it froze. Sir, we are under a severe winter storm warning. Really? Yeah. We should be careful. We should be careful. <laughs> Look at how big these flakes are. Gorgeous. And it's just coming down so fast. Can you guys come with me, please? Yeah. All right, we got to show them something here that has to be done. This is uh, something that is actually very important. We're going through the deep snow. One thing Dude. I like is that it's snowing like crazy which actually makes it less cold. Yeah, it does. It's a, <laughs> a, is it a mental thing? No, I think it's just less cold. Really? <laughs> All right, so I want to show you guys what we need to get Whoa. done. Dude. The tractor is getting snowed in. So what we need to do is we need to get the tractor out, okay. get the grapple off, get the snow plow on, and plow before it's too late. <laughs> Poor Tux. He's trying to find a place to poop. He's <laughs> like, dude, I don't want to poop in the snow. He like lifts his feet up, poor guy. What I need you guys to do is to get the cars cleaned off and moved. Okay, okay. So that I can come around with the tractor. Okay, I'll work on getting the tractor. You guys work on moving the cars. Yeah, look at Tuck's lift. We're a little distracted, really sorry. Yes, we will do that. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's a lot of snow, hey. yeah. Hey. We haven't driven her in a couple days and so, wow. Dude, that's like six inches. <laughs> that's like, a lot. We drove her not that long ago. Yeah, so we got a clear, Maxine back and get the truck out so that we can plow this whole area right here. But we gotta clean them off first because they're getting buried. All right, first things first, man. We gotta see if we can get it to start. Hopefully it'll start. Gotta let the glow plugs warm up for a minute. Ready, one eye? Let's go. <laughs> let her warm up here for a second, clean the snow off. And then uh, we're gonna try to crawl out of that thing. We'll crawl out of this area, man, with all the snow. Oh, Dude, <laughs> okay, we haven't driven the truck in a long while. Yeah, how many? Like, I don't know, over a week, probably. Yeah, probably. So let's watch this. Ready? Okay. Oh, wow. Look at That's that. a lot of snow. I'd say, is that almost a foot? Like 10 inches, maybe? Yeah. Hey, you're gonna lose the broom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Look, there's like a, it's like a chunk of... Oh, wow. Nice. I think I need to go get Dad's keys so we can have both of them being warmed up at the same time. We can get into it. Yeah. Well, let's focus on the driver's side then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that we decided to park it under here because there would be so much snow on this guy. It'd be buried right now. If we left it where we had it last year, oh, man. You want my keys? You're welcome. We're gonna get both of them warming up. Okay, cool. Can we get to the driver's side door yet? It's kind of stuck. You might be able to get it better. Like it's frozen shit? Yeah, but you might be able to pull it off. I didn't try very hard. Uh -oh. There, there you go. go. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, that seat is going to be icy. What's cool about having the grapple on the front is we can use it to pull us if we need to. Oh man, we're already getting stuck. Oh man, our hydraulics are all super slow. So what do we want to do? We want to go down, lift up the front, hopefully move forward. Like that. But we got to get turned here. There we go. Well, we made it some. All right, here we go. You ready? Lift us up, pull us in. Perfect. Gotta be careful of you guys, man. I don't want to hit you with the tractor. Hit you with the grapple. That'd be bad. Oh, man, dude, we're so stuck. Oh, look at that. We're going, man. We're going. Woohoo! We did it. So tell us what you're doing down here, sir. What? Tell us what you're doing down here. Oh, yeah. So we cleared Maxine off, and we're going to move her 
and the truck has a lot of built up snow, like kind of just packed down. And so it's taking a while to get the windshield clear to clean it off. So we got the, um, the tractors all, whoa, dude, that is like rock solid. Few moments later. You got stuck, man. Yeah, you did. <laughs> all right, come on, guys. We gotta go try to get Jules unstuck. Whoa, here he comes. Look at that. Your dad's amazing, Sarah. Yeah. He's got skills. We got it, man. Sarah, turn around. <laughs> what? <laughs> Abominable snowman comes to mind. <laughs> like my hair itself might be frozen. You might be wondering why I turn it off to hook up these hydraulic lines. Because, man, sometimes they're so hard to hook up. I found if you turn it off and let the pressure out of the line, you can get them on easier sometimes. So that's what we're hoping for today. Hey, puppy. What you thinking? How's it going, Dad? Slowly. <laughs> How's it going, Mom? Great for me. <laughs> Come on. I think I got it, man. Isn't that awesome? You should take your head off and look at it. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I think now we're ready to plow. Nice. Wow, man, my seat's already covered. <laughs> I just got off of this thing. <laughs> ready, sir? Ready. Let's do this. Walk straight, stay right. That's what they say to me, but I don't fit right inside the lines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hear the calling down in my bones. So following where my arrow goes. Looks like I've got her stuck pretty good. Marty is gonna try to pull me out with the tractor. <laughs> Nice job. Good job, Mom. We did it. We did it. <laughs> when I was young, my mom told me, son, that soul of yours was born to run. It's your adventure for you to choose. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm a little white. Oh man, dude, there's lots of snow to plow out there. Wow, look at your feet <laughs> and your oh. hat. Wow. Had to uh, pull the neighbor out. Oh no, really? Yeah. His truck got stuck? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Did you pull it out with the tractor? Yeah. Are your hands freezing? Um, They're a little cold. What's really cold are the tops of my legs. You're so wet. No, man. <laughs> I wasn't planning on being out there that long and then just kept going and going and going. It's so much fun. It really is fun. It's cool getting to be the one this year to plow the road, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because last year our neighbor did it all and... Take a little burden off of his shoulders. But anyway, guys, we're we're on our way to our six-foot goal. Woohoo! We might have like a foot and a half out there. <laughs> we're on our way, though. We're on our way. Ready? Ready. Thank you. There's gonna be like a puddle of water in here. Now that I'm a little bit more warmed up, I'm gonna go ahead and answer today's very important question. It comes from David Scott. David asks about this train humidifier right here. This guy right here on top of the stove. Well, David, we actually got it from some very close friends of ours named David and Lisa along with their kiddos. They gave us this when they moved away from Idaho and moved down to Kansas. And so where did they get it? Mm, I'm not sure. Probably Amazon, though. So go ahead and check it out on Amazon if you want. There's probably one there Whew, or another one very similar to it. Thanks for the question, David. And if any of you guys 
have a question that you would like answered sometime here in the month of December, then write it down in the comments below. And if we pick your question, we'll give you a special shout out like we did David. Ready? We just gotta do our best. All right, we're gonna do our best and forget about the rest. All right, guys, it is time 25 push ups Ooh. today. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready? I'm a little nervous because yeah. we did all that shoveling. I know it. And I feel like my arms are already tired. Yeah, I'm a little <laughs> stiff from being so cold for so long. But are you ready, Texas? We're gonna Tex try to do them. I think you're in the way. All right, if you guys are following along, go ahead, get down on the floor, against the wall, on the counter, wherever it is. Get on your knees, modify if you have to. You sound Tony. like a, like <laughs> sound a like Tony. instructor. <laughs> <laughs> Tony was my my role model. Okay. That's Tony Horton. All right, here we go. 25. You ready, Tony? Okay. On ready. one. Wait, how's it go? What's he saying? On three. <laughs> on three. <laughs> I have no idea what she's talking about. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, <laughs> no, ten, no, eleven, no. Uh oh, I lost track. Twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. In case I messed up. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Oh, that no. was the hardest ones yet. Excuse me. I messed up and I skipped one push up, so I gotta do it right now. Ready? Ready. One. <laughs> nah. Five. Good job, Jess. Thanks. You, have, you have integrity of uh, <laughs> something that's very integral. If you're following along with the push up challenge, let us know down in the comments below. You guys gonna... are awesome. Yes, you are. That's gonna do it for today. We picked out this video right here for you. Go ahead and watch that one. Hope you have a great day. Keep, Keep smiling. smiling.